whether you be in your home or where you're watching or you're in this room I think it would be wise to let the Lord know that you will not fear I think you need to say it well I don't believe it well I'm going to say it anyway because I choose not to fear the day I choose to fear God and to honor you Lord How many of you ever in your moment right now you're just hearing God have a conversation with you let him speak to you Father, I pray that you would speak to the people. Even in the night hour that you would come. And we will, we will be ready to receive of thy visitation. That assurance I pray in their hearts that they will not fear the day you know he said to tell you something He said, there is a strange, what men will say, what is this strange silence? What is this stillness? What does it mean? Is the earth quiet? Has the earth been quieted? Why? What does this stillness mean? Is it possible in times of adversity? Is it possible in the times of wars and rumors of wars? That there is a stillness. And this is what I was saying to God. Is it possible? You speak of a stillness to me. You speak of a quietness to tell the people. Yet I said, God, is this possible? And he spoke. In conversation just now he said what happened in the midst of the storm in Mark 4 when I rebuked the wind and the sea there was a stillness that came and the disciples didn't believe that this was possible because what did they say who is this man that even the wind 
and the sea obey him. They could not believe in the God who could still the storm. And this is a message to us, America, by the Spirit of God now. Some people, all they see is the storm and they feel the adversity of what we've been in. But they have no faith to believe for a calmness and a stillness that comes by the might of God himself. And can you imagine what would have happened if you're on the shore of the Red Sea and the sound that would have came as God begins to part the Red Sea and the waters to the right is congealed and the waters to the left is congealed and this force of this great act of God. And then suddenly everything as the children of Israel is being delivered. The Bible says that God caused the waters to come back as they were. And Israel turned around on the other side at a time when it looked like the nation was going under. And there was a strange calmness that filled the air as they looked back and they saw floating dead bodies of their enemies. In the hostility of yesterday and its season was not the present moment of the stillness that they had now faced. And this is the word of the Lord unto us as God speaks to us. Do not be moved by the noise and the loudness, so it would seem, of the day. Because there is coming a calmness, a stillness, that men will know that He is God. You know how you're going to know? When they prophesied a depression and a stock market crash and somehow God resurrects a nation and all of a sudden like Abraham you hear something wrestling rustling and you look over and there is a ram in the thicket and God had already planned a, 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 a moment to deliver you of provision when it looked like the thief would rise up again the thief will be stopped and found and instead of the loudness of the thief, it's the quietness of the payback of the thief. Do you believe this? There is a stillness coming. A calmness coming. That's what God wants you to see. And he says to me, that this is not that he just speaks over the nation or the earth but this is the rest that he has promised you as well as the nations some of you it's been loud it's been hard it's been angry but that's not the future you're gonna look back and you're gonna see your enemies drowned and you're gonna see the stillness can you imagine the Red Sea as the waves are moving? And Israel is looking at their children and, my God, how did he do this? We thought we were finished. That's why I don't flinch in this day. Don't quit. The Spirit of God says there is a stillness, a strange sound of quiet that will touch this nation. What did God do before he delivered a nation? He said, stand. What? Still. And this will be but a sign unto us. I own commandi of your remarkishnikwa. Be it done. 
according to what you have said, my Lord. I want you just to stand in the quietness of the moment. And I want you, whether you're watching at home or you're here today or you're going to watch later, be still and know that he is the Lord God. Amen. I think some of you needed that moment because this is our, our future. It's been pretty loud, hasn't it? Ugly, nasty evil praise God how many of you remember I don't I hope it's not a bad song But I just keep thinking about I'm just putting my hands forward as a prophetic act and I'm putting my hands in the hands of the one who stilled the waters isn't that a song please tell me it's not somebody bad is it a good song okay good because that's what I feel <laughs> I'm like thank you Lord don't leave me down <laughs> okay that's what I feel and so I'm going to do this by faith. I'm going to put my hand out. And I'm going to put my hand in the hand of the one who's... Well, how's it go? Put your hand in the hand of the man who what? Stilled the waters. Is that all it says? Put your hands in the hands of the man who stilled the waters. And put your hand in the hand of the man who calmed. Thank you, Lord. Amen.